Well, hello there. My name is Luke, and welcome to my brand spanking new dinosaur channel that is bound to make me rich and famous. For my first video, I thought it was appropriate to discuss the discovery of the very first named dinosaur, the Megalosaurus. So let's take my handy-dandy time machine and travel back to the year 1676, when a femur of an unknown ancient creature was discovered in a quarry in Oxfordshire, England. The strange discovery fell into the hands of Professor Robert Plott of Oxford University. He decided the bone must belong to either an elephant or a gigantic human of biblical times. In 1763, the fossil was officially described by Joshua Book, who named it Scrotum Humanum because it looked like, um, will you do the math? Unfortunately, the bone was lost, but its descriptions are elaborate enough that we are able to conclude that it was what we now call Megalosaurus. William Buckland, professor of geology, later discovered more pieces of the animal and correctly identified it as a gigantic extinct reptilian animal. In 1827, paleontologists renamed the creature Megalosaurus Bucklandi in honor of William Buckland, and this may just be me, but I think Megalosaurus is a much better name than Scrotum. Megalosaurus soon gained popularity and, along with Iguanodon, was sorted into the group Dinosauria, thus beginning the study of these fantastical creatures. Our perception of Megalosaurus has changed greatly through the years, but it's always been regarded as a fierce, magnificent creature, and an important first chapter in the world of paleontology. Well, that's been our show. Come back regularly for more videos on dinosaur species, paleontology, and maybe even dinosaur movie reviews, I don't know, really anything to do with dinosaurs. And remember, the first dinosaur could have been named Scrotum, so just keep that in mind when you're feeling down. Paleoluke out.